maple syrup. A gallon of pure maple syrup, capped from the Evergreen Lodge's very own maple tree. Well, it sounds like you and Chuck had a good time then, huh? Oh, blissful honeymoon in a secluded mountain lodge cabin. It was much too short, of course, but we're going to go back in the fall when the leaves change. Chuck promised. Anyway, you're going to love this syrup on pancakes. Remember, you told me that Joey's favorite breakfast is pancakes. Also, it tastes great on, on waffles and French toast. And, oh, Gret Gretchen, Gretchen, she's the innkeeper. She gave me this fabulous recipe for barbecue sauce. I, I brought you a copy of it over there on a little card that you can put in the recipe holder that Ruth gave you. Chuck praises this barbecue sauce to the skies. And if you would like to have a chance to taste it, I bought two gallons for us, and I'll bring you over some. Honey? Fine. I'm fine. I'm glad that you guys had a wonderful honeymoon. Yeah. I see you didn't get a whole lot of progress made on the curtain project. I was waiting for you to come back and help. I see. Honey, how is uh, Joey's schedule? Is it still as bad as it was before I left? Oh. Um, well, he, he's uh, still working double shifts. Yeah, I wish that you two guys would let Chuck and me help. Mom, will you please stop it? Okay, just stop it. I I don't want to talk about money. Okay, I hate money. I don't want to count it. I don't want to think about it. I, I don't want to talk about it. Honey, what is wrong? Nothing. <sighs> missed you. I missed you, too. I'm sorry I snapped. You remember when I told you that I was going to respect your independence? That I wouldn't order you around and, and I wouldn't tell you how to do things? I meant it, Angel. So you can talk to me about anything and you don't have to worry that I'm going to judge you, huh? Thank you, Mom. So, tell me. Joey and I, uh, decided to get an annulment. No, I decided and Joey agreed. Oh, sweetie, I think you two decided to do a very wise thing. I don't think you heard me. I decided and Joey agreed, but he wasn't happy about it. He feels like his whole life was for nothing. And that the only person he trusted let him down. And it's my fault. No, Angel, really. You know, as bad as I feel and as sad as I am, as hurt, I turned around and I hurt Joey even worse. You guys, you just stay seated. I'm going to go get some coffee. Tomorrow. Thank you. You hardly ate anything. I'm not hungry. <laughs> Come on, you haven't even touched your food. Well, I had some before. Yeah. Um, I am really tired. Don't pour any for me, Mom. I'm going to just go in and take a bath and, uh, and head for bed, if that's okay with you guys. Sweetheart, I... don't you think you might feel better if you packed a few things and came home with us? Mom, please, I... I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, of course, you're right. You have to do what you think is best. Thank you. Enjoy coffee. Okay. Good night. Good night, honey. I don't want her to stay here alone, Chuck. She's made up her mind. That's Thank what's you. got me worried. She's... She's so determined. Honey... Maybe... Maybe what? I ought to stay here tonight. Oh, honey, she is not a baby anymore. You're right. You're right, and I promised that I wouldn't butt into this. Mm-hmm. She'll snap out. She just feels so guilty about her Joey. She's not taking care of herself. Look at her. She will. When she gets hungry, she'll eat. She, she's pale, Chuck. Honey, will you please, please, do me a favor. Stop worrying. She's still a teenager. Give yourself some credit with all your hard work. At least you're on her. 
both of you are very close again. And you don't have to stay here and keep an eye on her. You're right. You're right. Huh? Give her some time. Give her room. Don't mm -hmm. push her. She's growing up. I'll tell you, getting this annulment, that's the most mature adult thing she's done since this whole mess started. True. It's a good sign. Thanks for Great. I was afraid this might happen again. Well, the hospital Sorry. knows where you are. Uh, yes, uh, this is Dr. Chuck Tyler. You paged me. All right. I hope it's not my post-op. Uh, uh, hello, Angie? Chuck? Yeah, I'm sorry to bother you, but I thought you might want to know. I just got a message from Barbara. Something about someone who's a potential bone marrow donor from Molly. Uh, who is it? No, she didn't say, but she and Tom were there on their way, and I'm going to find